What did that kid in your school get expelled for? Went to an all-guys Catholic high school. One of the teachers was trying to become a deacon or something, and had to videotape himself hosting a service. He taught religion so he used a class period to take his students to the chapel and record his service. He had to go back to the classroom for something, and one of the kids got up and began desecrating everything. Mock blowjobs of the candles, humping the crucifix, fake sermons, the whole nine yards. The kid returns to his seat before the teacher ever gets back and all the students don't say anything. The camera was rolling the whole time. High school, senior year. He was the stereotypical computer geek slash pocket protector kid. Very smart, generally quiet, was nice but awkward. He somehow found a way to access the part of the school storage network where teachers could save their files. He made copies of thousands of quizzes, tests, answer keys etc. Lots were from his AP US history teacher, but I was told he had stuff from most teachers. He sold copies of answer keys and exams to kids, eventually someone told the school administrators. They contacted the police, and while he was at school one day they went to his house with a warrant and confiscated his computers. Arrested him when he came home. Teachers were pissed. Every compromise test had to be remade. Hundreds of hours of work for his history teacher, who had to remake all his lesson materials for the year over again. They threatened him with the possibility of being prosecuted as an adult, that each file was its own felony, and he was looking at one thousands of charges. This was ultimately to just get a plea deal, which was something like a lot of community service, expulsion from that school, and probation. I think if he made it through probation it would all end up sealed or something. To be honest a lot of high schools, especially 5 to 10 years ago or more, had really shitty security, and it doesn't take much to get access to this type of shit. I had friends in high school that had access to pretty well anything they wanted, but never abused it because illegal and nothing to gain that they deemed worth the risk. A guy at my secondary school, rural Scotland, built a homemade pipe bomb and brought it in to show his science teacher. School was evacuated and a bomb squad from Edinburgh had to be called out. He threw a hammer at a student, narrowly missing another student and lodging it in the wall. They'd been tossing plastic cutlery at him, and he'd had enough. Honestly, they were poking a sleeping bear, because he'd made it clear from the day he arrived that he had some sort of mental condition that made him a compulsive liar, but in the terrifying way. Like he told me directly about how he murdered his own mother, a lady who regularly dropped him off at school so dull lie, with a screwdriver. People at my school were very, very dumb. But he got expelled immediately. It was during theater class, and they were all building the set for some play they were putting on. I can't remember which one, but it had to do with someone getting divorced. Smoking a bong in the middle of the playground. I remember in middle school a kid got suspended for smoking a bowl on the school bus ride home. Half of us didn't even know what the fuck he was doing. We had one kid get expelled for punching the vice principal in the face. The vice principal later got fired for sexually harassing the female students. Face puncher was and still remains a hero. When I was a junior in high school, the senior prank that year was to steal all the science videos from the office, all VHS and record porn onto them at various parts, then return the tapes. For years, teachers would be putting on tapes about fossil fuels or mitochondria or crepuscular carnivores in 20 minutes in boom dick in an acid full volume. Science department finally gave up trying to find them all and just threw them all away. The year of the prank the student who organized it was expelled because someone spilled the beans. There was a kid in the school who was notorious for not showering. It was absolutely disgusting, but he didn't exactly have the best home life, so no one was really gonna say anything. One day, the kid sitting behind him decided to light the no-showerer's greasy hair on fire. It went up like a fireball and the smell that ensued would make an onion cry. Needless to say, the kid with the lighter didn't make it through the rest of the day. We thought he was, 
When I say it was a fireball it was a literal ball of hair grease fire that smelled like you can imagine it would. It looked like he was napalmed, it was only ablaze for a few seconds. He came back to school the next day completely bald. Went to kindergarten with a kid named Marshall who was always getting in trouble, until one day they finally just kicked him out of school for spraying a fire extinguisher all over the room and somehow getting his own human shit in no fewer than nine cubby holes where we kept our lunches. You have to be a goddamn rock star to get kicked out of kindergarten.